Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a GIF into your Scratch game. So I got the high score there. It should... It does. It starts playing this stuff when you get the high score. And that script is located in this sprite. So the GIF is actually a sprite. You see the costumes. It's just running through it every 0.07 seconds. That script is right here, so when I receive high score, forever, next costume, wait, 0.07 seconds, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright, uh, let's go to Scratch, and I'm going to create a new one so that you can just see this from the beginning, and what you can do is you can look up GIFs. You can take a YouTube and turn it into a GIF. So that you, that video that you see of me dancing in front of my desk is on YouTube. It's only 10 seconds, so that one's pretty easy to turn into a GIF because it's short, but I wouldn't recommend doing it to anything longer than like 5 or 10 seconds because it's just going to take forever to load. and. I'm not going to show you how to do this, but there are websites that will allow you to convert a YouTube into a GIF. You just have to find them and then download once it gets turned into a GIF and then save it. But the easiest way is just to look them up. So I'm just going to look up something simple, dog GIF images, and I'm going to look around see uh, okay so this one this happens it's it took an image from the GIF and it's there but it's not all the images that go along with it so that's not gonna work I want to see it moving so let's take a look at this one and this one will work because it's moving so I'm gonna right click this one and hit save image as and then under my scratch folder I'll just save, well, save, and it downloads here, but it's saved in that folder, so if I go back to Scratch, I can create a new sprite with the folder, and I'm going to choose, well, first of all, I went to my Scratch folder, and I, I'll choose the another dog GIF and open and this sometimes takes a little bit of time so I'm gonna let it load it's uploading the image so it's taking all the the images within the GIF and it's bringing those in so this one has 30 looks like 34 images in it and then the way that you get it started and I'll just show you very quick how to start this. Scripts, events, when the green flag clicked, control, we'll just say forever, looks, and we just want it to go through the next costume and to wait, I don't know, for right now let's put I'll put 0 0.05, so five hundredths of a second. Cool, so it's working. And if I go back and look at the costumes, you can see that it's running through. It's running through each image every um, 0 0.05 seconds. So pretty quick. You can slow it down. So if I did 0 0.5. So it's going through each one of the. It's going through each image every half second. So it's not extremely fast. Or you can make it really fast.
So that's simple. You can, I mean, you can do it just like that and then add it in to whatever project you are working on. The other thing too, uh, I get this question sometimes, the, let me go back to my folder here. Uh, where is it? Right here. So the hotline bling game. In this game, Drake is a GIF, and notice that he's uh, originally, it was a giant like rectangle around him, but what I ended up having to do is go through and basically erase all that stuff around him. So what I was doing for him here, I'd have to go into each costume and erase like the the stuff around him and I did it pretty quick just by I didn't do it super detailed so you can see I had to go through each one and there were 24 of them in order to get them to about that size so that can take some time if you're gonna do that uh, the last thing there is a tool that can help but it's a little difficult to work with sometimes and it's uh, the magic wand and I'll just show you I'll show you with the dog here so if you look at the costumes for the dog yeah this one's gonna be tough so you can use the magic wand and the magic wand basically it tries to separate images from back backdrops but there's two images in here so that's going to be really difficult So then when I click away and go back, or I just kind of click off the screen there, where did that go? It's right here. So now I have this dog that is all by itself. It might look funny when it goes through the GIF. See how that flash of white shows up? I can slow it down. 0 0.5. So at some point, it's going to hit that image where there is no background and the guy doesn't exist. Right there. So there is a way to take away like all the background stuff. You can try and use this magic wand tool. Um, but again, it's, it's not the... I mean, it works pretty well. And you can kind of see how I'm using it. But like, even right there, it doesn't... If the background is similar to whatever you're trying to cut away, it has a hard time differentiating between that. So like this dog's like face right here is not that far off from the color of this background right here, so that's why it didn't take that away. So you'd have to, if you clicked away there, chop it off, and then you'd have to go in here and start erasing this stuff manually. And that's why it takes a lot of time, okay?